Hi and welcome to Do It Like Dana. Today I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate a thermometer. First and foremost, when you calibrate a thermometer, you're going to use either boiling water or ice cold water, which means you're going to take crushed ice and put some water into the ice. The way you calibrate a thermometer is by placing it in the water and moving the dial on here so that it matches up to the temperature of what boiling water is or what frozen water is. When you do it with the ice water, frozen temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to stick it into your cup. You do not want to touch the bottom of the thermometer to the bottom of the cup because then it will be reading the bottom of the cup temperature and that is generally warmer than what the ice in the middle of the cup temperature is. So once the needle stops moving, you're going to take the top part of the thermometer and all of these dials generally spin. You're going to keep it held in the water and you are going to spin it to get to 32 degrees. So then it's lined up and calibrated. The other way to calibrate your thermometer is with boiling water. As I just showed before, you always want to have the water to a roiling boil. Then you're going to stick the thermometer into the boiling water. You don't want to touch it to the bottom because the bottom of the pan is definitely hotter than the water. And once it gets to 212 degrees, which is the boiling point of water, you're going to want to take your thermometer, spin it until it gets to 212 if it's not calibrated properly. And there you have it. Your thermometer is calibrated. You always want to do this anytime you drop your thermometer, anytime you're going from super cold heat to super hot heat, you always want to recalibrate. This is just very important for meat temperatures or candy temperatures. Thanks for watching Do It Like Dana. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my videos. And if you have any questions about any sort of kitchen utensil or tool, send me an email. I'd love to help you out.